Our entrants in this class are number 1427, Knapp's Regis Tambourine ET, presented by Knapp Guernsey's Farm, Austin and Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Entry 1428, Knapp's Royalty Quintet, also presented by Knapp Guernsey's Farm, Austin and Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Entry number 1429, Hartdale Showtime Shimmer, presented by Lauren Robeson, Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Entry 1431, Misty Meadows Adaka Pixie, presented by Jacqueline Peterson of Wilson, Wisconsin. Entry 1432, Villa Crest Monarch Rain, presented by Marlis Weaver, Goshen, Indiana. Entry 1435, Guernsey Meadow Glora Laura Lynn, presented by Christy Orchard of Janesville, Wisconsin. Entry 1437, Misty Meadows Hill Point Ice Cream ET, presented by Jacqueline Peterson, Wilson, Wisconsin. Entry 1438, Fish Creek VC Held Our Pansy, presented by Kev Kimberly and Kevin Lakey, Trempolo, Wisconsin. Entry 1439, South Lane Special Jazz Lean, presented by South Lane Farm, Epworth, Iowa. Entry 1440, Knapp's Ace Jada, presented by Knapp Guernsey's, Austin and Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Entry 1441, Dix Lee Silverado Silly, presented by Brett Dixon, Gary Estes, and Bob Griggs of Conway, Missouri. And entry 2930, Misty Meadows, M. Leona, presented by Jacqueline Peterson, Wilson, Wisconsin. And Judge Crosser has completed his placings in the International Guernsey Show's International Futurity class. Our third place finisher, entry 1438, Fish Creek VC Haldar Pansy, presented by Kimberly and Kevin Lakey, Trempolo, Wisconsin. Our second place finisher, entry 1432, Villa Crest Monarch Rain, presented by Marlis Weaver of Goshen, Indiana. And our top finisher and winner of Best Utter as well, entry 1427, Knapp's Regis Tambourine ET, presented by Austin and Landon Knapp of Epworth, Iowa. Congratulations. Judge Crosser, your comments on the class, please. In our three-year-old fraternity, we've got a tremendous cow here to start the class with. She has the tremendous advantage over all the cows in the class in the rear udder. She's higher and wider at the top of the rear udder. She's got that lovely chrome along with it. She's a dairy, long, open rib kind of cow that just spells milk and dairiness and cleanliness all the way through. She has more frame than the cow we have in second, and so it's, it's really a, a very easy place today. She just walks out and takes this class. The real close placing for us was second and third, and we went back and forth uh, trying to make the decision. In the end, we chose to go with the heifer that followed a little bit more the pattern of the one above her in terms of, of cleanliness and dairiness. She also has an advantage in length of four udder. She's got a little more chrome to the four udder and moves a little more freely on her rear legs than does this cow we have here coming around in third. I admit that the third place cow is a bigger, wider cow. She's wider out through the hips and pins. She has more depth of heart and depth of rib, but, and it's a real close place, and you can go either way. We chose it this way today. It's her strength, her power, and her width and, and dariness to take her over this next cow, a cow that has, uh, a, a shows a lot of memory, a lot of uh, quality in her mammary system, but not quite as dairy today to move up above the top three cows. It's four over five. The advantage is in width at the top of the rear udder. She also has more seam and cleft than this real dairy individual coming around the ring here that's in fifth place. Fifth over sixth, we have the advantage here in how she moves on her rear legs. The, set, the, the uh, sixth place cow has quite a bit of set to that leg and, uh, and needs to have a little more depth of heel before she can go up. But you admire the dairiness that she has all the way through. She has more frame, more power than the uh, nice smaller uttered cow that we have next in line. Congratulations on a nice futurity. <laughs> 